Hey, looky here! 10 signs that you're more intelligent than you realize. We all have those moments we're feeling low and start doubting our abilities. It starts back at school when you just can't get math. Thumbs up if you can relate like me. And might come back when you're an adult. Brightside has some good news. You are way more intelligent than you realize. Here is a list of signs you might have ignored or even considered weird that indicate a super bright mind. They are all scientifically proved. So if you feel like a few of them are true for you, you have every reason to call yourself a genius. Counting down from number 10. You realize how much you don't know. As contradictory as it may sound, a true genius easily admits how much he still doesn't know. You can be naturally great at making words rhyme or have a musical talent the size of Vivaldi, but fail at physics. More than that, you most definitely have some concepts to explore even in your professional field. If you can honestly say, hmm, I don't know, instead of mumbling, uh, yeah, I have an idea of how it functions, and then googling the conversation topic like crazy, it shows you are an intelligent person. This idea is backed up by science. Justin Kruger and David Denning worked with a group of Cornell University undergrads and published the results in their research in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology in 1999. They asked students to predict their scores after being tested in humor, logical reasoning, and English grammar. Those who were 100% sure they did outstandingly well ended up with worse results than those who were more critical of themselves. Number 9. You wear the same clothes every day. Have you ever noticed Mark Zuckerberg tends to appear in public in the same gray t-shirt all the time? We don't think he doesn't have enough money to seek fashion advice or style up his wardrobe. A more likely explanation of sticking to the same fashion routine is being a genius. Psychologist Oliver Berkman has done some serious research on the lifestyle of the brightest minds in the world. He concluded that smart people tend to save up their mental abilities for more important things. Unless those smart people are fashion designers or Lady Gaga, of course. We don't encourage you to disregard fashion to wake up your inner genius, but this study does make sense. Some genius inventions or brilliant writings can be created during that time you spend picking the perfect outfit for the day. So, next time you see your geeky colleague, don't blame him for that gray turtleneck he is wearing every day. Number 8. You can feel what others are thinking. It's not like you're psychic, but there are some signs of it. Do you know that feeling when you're talking to someone and they can't find the right word or are just postponing finishing the sentence and you do it for them? If you do, you might be a genius. Empathy is a sign of exceptional mental intelligence. If you are emotionally intelligent, you love meeting new people and learning new things. According to psychologist and author of Focus, The Hidden Drivers of Excellence, Daniel Coleman, people who care a lot about others and can feel them well generally succeed in life. Literally, feeling the pain of others helps you understand life better, so you can excel at living it. You can even learn from the mistakes of others, not your own. (laughs) Genius, isn't it? Number 7. You can perfectly control yourself. The ability to control instincts is what we know distinguishes humans from animals. Genius people went even further. They managed to overcome and control any impulses they have. If you can plan and achieve goals without being distracted by emotions, you are more intelligent than you might imagine. You can even avoid getting in trouble by predicting the possible outcomes of this or that action. A group of scientists from Yale, Princeton, the University of Minnesota, and other educational institutions tested a group of people in 2008. They offered the participants of the experiment to choose from being paid immediately or get money later. Those who preferred waiting and getting more money later had better scores on intelligence tests. It showed that people who are not afraid and can control their actions, including spending their money, are more intelligent than those who find it hard to plan anything. Number 6. Your eyes are blue. Blue eyes look deep and sincere, and sometimes piercing. Just think of Elsa from Frozen. Ah, let it go, will ya? 
There is more to them than that cold beauty, and American scientists have been long interested in their nature. Many of them believe blue eyes are a sign of natural superintelligence. Professor Emeritus of the University of Louisville, Joanne Rowe, has concluded light-eyed humans and even animals are way better at activities requiring self-pacing than the dark-eyed creatures. The fact that you are better at self-paced activities means that you like paying attention to every detail. Aren't those qualities important for work with words and numbers? If you have dark eyes, it is no reason to be upset though. The same study says you are great at things requiring an immediate response because your reaction is super developed. Plus, we still have a lot of genius signs you'll find yourself in. <clears throat> like this one. Number 5. You are a chocolate lover. Yeah, that's me. MD Franz H. Messerle, who is most likely a chocolate lover himself, published the results of his study in the New England Journal of Medicine. He tried to link genius, Nobel Prize winner kind of genius, per 10 million people with the amount of chocolate consumed in certain countries. And he found it. Switzerland, land of chocolate and cheese, has not surprisingly taken a very high position in this rating. Sweden, Denmark, and Norway are not doing bad either. Even though many people find the results of this study very disputable, we still like to believe, because we love chocolate so much. More than that, chocolate is known to stimulate your mental activity. And if you love it and have it in healthy amounts, it will not do you any bad. Hey, remember what Mae West said? Too much of a good thing can be wonderful. I'm sure she was talking about chocolate. Number 4. When you're upset, you know what's bothering you. We all have those days when everything seems to upset us. Coffee doesn't taste that good, the shining sun is annoying, and if people are asking you what's wrong, you only want to yell back at them. Even genius people get upset at times. <laughs> A lot, in fact. But they know exactly what's bothering them. It gives them an opportunity to solve the problem and move on. Yes, genius people don't stick to the past, and they don't blame everyone and everything around for their sadness. Psychologist Daniel Goleman explains a real genius does not only address problems, but also recognizes emotions when he feels them and not ignores them. A mind free of constantly bothering emotions and anger will more likely generate something outstanding. Number 3. You talk to yourself <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I always thought that talking to yourself was a sign of madness, not genius. It turns out it's just the opposite. Psychologists Daniel Swigley and Gary Lupien conducted a whole study on it. The good self-talk, according to them, helps us sort the important thoughts from useless stuff going through our minds. It's a way of singling out ideas. Some of them might be a genius. Listening to your own voice helps you understand yourself better. Maybe it was speaking to himself that helped Albert Einstein become one of the brightest minds of all time. Yes, it turns out, Einstein used to repeat his lines to himself. Number 2. You can't stand any background noise. If you feel like getting your noisy neighbors a one-way ticket to Barbados, you are not super evil. You are most definitely super intelligent. Loud music and drilling annoy anyone. But we're talking about stomping, laughing, and loud talking kind of noise. A study conducted at the Northwestern University has stated that a genius hates any kind of background noise because it prevents him from concentrating on important issues. Charles Darwin, Anton Chekhov, and famous novelist Marcel Proust all tried to make their workplaces extra soundproof and wore ear stoppers. And number one, wait for it, your handwriting is messy. <laughs> That's just about everybody. Next time somebody criticizes your handwriting, simply nod, say, I'm sorry you don't get it, and triumph on the inside. Messy writing is one of the signs of a genius. The creative disorder is a concept that was established long ago, and there is even research that claims that it serves as kind of a fuel for those with a creative nature. The results of this research, carried out by Kathleen Vose and her team, were published in Psychological Science Journal. Messy handwriting is also one of the signs of a creative person. Oh, thank goodness. So, 
Did you recognize any of these signs in yourself? Or maybe you are now positive your best friend is a genius? Feel free to share it in the comment section. If you want to see another video on how to distinguish a genius from a regular person, hey, you don't want to hang out with us regular people, you snob, here's a link to it. If you like this video, let us know by using the thumbs up button. If it gets 50,000 likes, we'll share some techniques to exercise your mind and join the genius clan. Always look on the bright side of life.